Maggots, don't jump, they're inclined. Psst. Look at the size of them boys. Minuscule, the amount of chemical it takes. Welcome to Sheep School. These are dry hoggets here. Haven't seen them in a few days. There's at least three of them with maggots. We'll get them into the pen here. We've Granny Lila and we've Ada standing out the other side. So we'll try and get them in here. So Pops is on the job here. Pops is mad, go away Pops, away. They're all coming now. Now, we've got Lila here this side. And then, yeah, thank you, you've done a great job. And Ada managed to stop them, didn't she? Hey. That's it, keep waving the arms, Ada. No, you're all right, you're doing a great job. Good girl, Ada. Too much talking on camera now, that could have went horribly wrong, but. So that went not too bad. It could have went wrong. A lot of talking on camera and we almost missed the boat of getting them in. So I have my little girl Enya. Enya's three. And Ada, fair play to her, she's only seven. And she stood on the road and turned them in herself. Mexican. <laughs> That's Enya saying welcome to Sheep School. Spending too much time with her father. Thank you, Ada, you've done a great job. There's 92 or three dry hoggets in this. Most of which will be for sale. So the last thing I want to see on these sheep is maggots because they'll end up having bare patches of wool and it just takes them, they don't look as good. So I can see at least three if not four with maggots so I think the best job is we'll treat the sheep that have the maggots but we're going to have to go in with uh, click. I have a bit of click left over, I have half a tin of click extra which is it's a little bit of overkill this time of year. So you'll see actually a lot of these are a bit dirty and it's not actually worms. I, I don't actually worm the adult sheep. As Lynn the Sheep Shepherd said, if you haven't checked them out on YouTube, it's a very good channel, very entertaining. Myself and Lynn were chatting a couple of weeks ago and we were just saying some of the lambs were getting dirty. And it's purely down to wet grass. There's days and days and days of continuous rain. The grass just seems to run through the sheep and it leaves them a little bit dirty at the back end. The more inclined to get maggots then. So this is the first maggots I've had all year. We're heading towards the end of July, so the click really worked a treat on the lambs. But these sheep have been sheared about five weeks now. They just have enough cover of wool for the maggots to start getting going now. So we get set up here, going to do them with click and treat the ones that have maggots. We'll make a start. So Mammy's just arrived to pick them up here. She's just on the way from work, so she's going to bring them home here. Are you saying hello to the viewers, Orla? Oh. Give them a wee wave. So Orla's still a bit camera shy. A little bit camera shy here, but we're working on that now. And makeup and all, on you? I don't have makeup. You look like you have. Dick. Yeah. So that's it. Orla's just collected. <laughs> so Orla's just here to collect the two girls. So that's it. We'll see you later. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks for your help, Ada. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's a few days since I've seen these. Maybe four. Look, working full time, it's very hard to see your sheep every day. This time of year, uh, it has its problems. Maggots, blowfly is a problem. I've no problem on the lambs. I haven't had a single lamb with maggots. So these three with maggots, look, it's not great. These are all for sale. The majority of them will be going to the, our sale in Roscommon. It's the first Saturday in uh, September. It's a breeding sale for the clean sheep I have. And these maggots are a serious problem because they're going to leave a bare patch on the sheep. The sheep just don't look as good when they've a bit of damage on their fleece. So treatment is this stuff, organophosphate dip. Very good for treatment. Not great for prevention. I've used it for prevention. You might get three or four weeks of prevention where they won't get maggots. A better option. And what I've used on the lambs is this stuff. Uh, it's click. I actually use click extra. So this is the pink one. Uh, you might see it here. What do we see? Yeah, 19 weeks of protection. So I'll just pop up the active ingredient on the screen here. Extremely good at prevention. Once you use this stuff and it's applied correctly, 
uh, it's very good at preventing maggots. So I've used this on the lamp. It's very expensive. It's a peace of mind. I can get away with just looking at sheep maybe twice a week. I try and do a Saturday and a Wednesday or something like that. But I'm going to do everything with click today, even though this is uh, covers them for 19 weeks. We're towards the end of July now. So it's going to bring us up to December, which is overkill. And I'm pretty confident I won't have maggots after them. It's very good stuff. So we'll get them into the race. Anything that has maggots is going to get some of the organophosphate winter dip. So the winter dip can be actually quite confusing. So it doesn't give you an exact amount per litre. So you have to work that out. It's minimal, minuscule, the amount of chemical it takes to make this effective. So in actual fact, it's 660 millilitres to 1,000 litres of water. It's a very small quantity of uh, dip. I've worked it out. I'll just give you a look at it here. Uh, the calculation for the way I'm doing it is I have a 20 litre drum of water so I know this drum holds 20 litres so uh, it's recommending I think it's 13.2 millilitres for that full drum of 20 litres of water so I'm just going to put 20 millilitres of sheep dip Goods just going to go a little bit stronger I know a lot of farmers that wouldn't actually bother even measuring it just get the tin and give it a splash and when it turns white it's fine it's an awful waste of product it's overkill, there's no point wasting it. So uh, I've actually had this tin probably since I've started sheep farming. You'll see it's actually rusted. So uh, I've had it about eight years now at this stage. So uh, there's still about this much in it. So just give this a bit of a mix. That's it, 20 mil. Now, so I'll have this drum for any problem cases I encounter uh, of maggots. I don't want to see too many, but I'm sure there'll be a few between now, July, August, September. It's usually always a few. A couple of the O's might get it. Um, we'll just, keep, just keep an eye on them as well. So, uh, Right, we'll get these into the pen, make a start. shake with any of these products is probably the most important thing. So the recommended dosage for these sheep or any sheep over 50 kilograms is 36 milliliters. So I'm just cutting it back a bit. I'm going to put 28 milliliters on them. In fact, I think I'll cut it back another wee bit. I'm going to cut it back to about 25. 25 should be fine because uh, the amount of the amount of active ingredient is will more than cover them for the eight or ten weeks that uh, is required. There'll be no maggots after that, or hopefully they won't anyway. So here's a prime example of the kind of conditions maggots need to get going. So you see this sheep here has, uh, she's quite dirty. There's just purely grass running through her. I can't see it being warm. She's in very good condition. That is just prime conditions for uh, blowfly to lay their eggs and for the maggots to get started. See, there's some more um, there. Now there's actually no maggots, uh, no maggots on them. Tip for you, I have seen plenty of people do, and I use it myself, is at the back end, you're supposed to do a kind of a semi-circle around the tail end. I don't actually do that. I. Uh, go up the way with your gun rather than going down because when you finish your stroke you're just spraying it between the legs it's quite expensive you don't want to be wasting this stuff so every drop you can get onto the sheep the better Come on. 
Wait, wait, wait. So here's the first one with maggots. Don't jump. They're inclined, they're inclined to jump here. So here's the first one with maggots. Telltale sign. Uh, damp. The wool actually looks damp. Uh, so you'd see it's brown, which you can mistake. Sometimes you can mistake that brownness for dirt. But if you see a little bit of moisture and it, it looks a bit damp, definitely maggots. That's the telltale sign. That dampness and the dirt. Maggots. So I'll just maybe try and get a closer look here. So there we go, you see the sheep trying to bite and lick at everything. These maggots have whole driven demented. Look at the size of them boys. And the heat, the heat is serious coming off that. So the next job is get a little bit of the dip, the organophosphate. Click is actually no good. If you put click on really good chemical at prevention, no good for treatment. If you put click on sheep that the maggots have hatched on, it won't actually kill them. All it'll do is prevent eggs from hatching. That's what it's up for. It's prevention, not a treatment. So that's why you have the organophosphate. So just going to get a wee bit. So this sheep at the back has maggots that very hard to notice them. I'll just give you a look here. So you'll see they're all quite dirty. The patches of dirt here everywhere. Dirt, dirt, dirt. You could take a quick glance at that sheep and say no maggots. But look a bit closer. You just see them starting to maneuver on the on the tail. <laughs> Not too serious yet. We'll get some chemical on them now. So I don't actually bother fiddling with the wool or trying to get all the maggots off. That stuff, that winter dip is extremely toxic to maggots and I'm 100% confident. Just wipes them out. This is the easiest one to spot. So you'll see this one here, nice clean sheep, apart from this patch. This patch here, so you'll see the circle there, it looks kind of brownish dampish telltale sign she's clean pretty much everywhere else and an unusual brown patch that's the first sign of maggots So this little sheep is the most obvious case of maggots here today out of, I think there's four, there's been four. So, very obvious. Uh, sorry about the noise, very obvious. They're quite flighty, how good generally they are. So here you'll see uh, the wool's damaged, big damp patch. And in actual fact, I can see some maggots there visually on the surface. And that's purely down to her scratching at that and scratching quite a bit there's quite a lot of maggots in there you can see them in there so they've done quite a bit of damage on our skin they've been busy so here's an interesting one for you uh, you'll see these are two pretty different sheep they're definitely from different rams because you see a yellow disc here and a purple disc here on the ear. So I use different discs for different rams. So you see this sheep has a slightly different type of wool. She has these kind of crinkles on her wool. And this one doesn't. This one doesn't have them crinkles. So I have definitely seen the sheep with the purple discs are more prone to blowfly strike or maggots than any of the other lines of sheep I have. So there's definitely a difference within breeds of sheep as to how prone they are to get maggots. Uh, I know from speaking to some of the easy care uh, farmers that they are culling any sheep, any purebred easy care yo to get maggots, they're actually culling them. Now, I don't think I'll be going down that route, but possibly is it something to consider maybe not breeding a ram from in this line? I'm not sure. I'm not sure because 
maggots are a problem with wool sheep anyway, it's just something we have to deal with. Maybe just something worth noting. So we have only a few left, keep going. I think we're up to seven now, seven of these hoggets with maggots. Here's another one, just starting, little damp patch here. Uh, same again on this one, two in a row, little damp brown patch here. So there you go, quite a few. So we had seven out of the 92 with maggots, which is quite a few. It's not ideal, these hoggets that are after being struck with the blowflies are going to have bare patches for the sails. It's going to affect the look of them. Going to knock a few quid off every pen if there's one of them in. So, look, I suppose I should have been doing this earlier, but with sheep, every day is a school day. So, that's my experience of maggots this year. We're into late July. If you have any comments or queries, let me know what you think yourself. What's better? Should we be using click as prevention? How are you finding the sheep dips? I'm finding them not as good as they used to be not as long maybe three or four weeks protection that's about it you couldn't depend on them i like click because you, i think you can actually depend on them let me know what you think yourselves in the comments It'd be great to hear from you so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give us a like hit the subscribe button thanks for watching i will see you next time